Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Sonia from the Collier County Public Library for another virtual art program. And today we're gonna to make another edible art item. So today we're gonna to make our own sushi. But this is a different kind of sushi than what Miss Karen made. This one is for uh, smaller children uh, and they get to help. So our first one that we're gonna make is we're gonna need some bread pretty soft bread that you have cut the edges off. So this is just some whole wheat bread that I've cut the edges off. You will need some smooth peanut butter and you will need your favorite kind of jelly. Miss Sonia likes strawberry, so I got strawberry. But any kind of jelly will work, it doesn't matter. So you're just gonna smooth some of this peanut butter onto one piece of bread. You don't need a lot, so just a little bit doesn't have to be real thick. Then you're gonna add your favorite jelly. This is actually preserves, so it has chunks of strawberries in it. Uh, usually chill, small children just like uh, jelly. But Miss Sonia likes preserves. So I'll put some strawberry preserves on there. Then you're gonna put a top on your sushi. Kind of mash it down just a little bit. Kids love doing this part, right? Mash it down with your fingers. Yep. And then you're just going to roll it up. So you're going to take it just like it was dough and roll it and roll it and roll it. Probably about three rolls is all you're going to get out of it. Kind of mash it together a little bit. And then you're just going to slice it off and you can do all of this with the plastic forks. You don't need a, a, a sharp knife. And there is your piece of sushi. And then you can get some uh, fruit roll ups or a uh, fruit by the foot or fruit leather and tie around the edges to make the seaweed. So let me just show you um, Another one that we're gonna make, and then I'll show you my finished product, what they look like in the end. So another one that we're gonna make is a sushi that we are gonna make with bananas. Most small children love bananas. So you're just gonna need one banana. Uh, make it pretty firm banana, not a real ripe one, because it will kind of get mushy. So you need one that's a little bit firm. So I've gone ahead and cut this banana in half. And then you're gonna take, this is the messy part that kids are gonna love, gonna take the smooth peanut butter again and put it all over the banana. This can be messy, but it's also fun. Covering your banana pretty good. If uh, you don't want peanut butter, you can do uh, Nutella. Uh, I've even seen some that's been done with marshmallow cream, so that would be good. Then you're gonna take some pretzels. Again, this is a fun activity for kids. Put them in a bag and mash them up. Just mash, 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 mash until you sort of have this pretzel all chopped up in a bag. And then you're gonna put some out on the table, uh, I mean, excuse me, out on the plate. Take your banana and roll it in the pretzels. Mmm, this is gonna be delicious. There you go, get a good coat. And then take a knife and again, cut it like sushi all the way down the banana. that yes right here and let me show you what my finished sushi plate looks like a delicious sushi snack so I hope you make this put down in the comments if you made this and how you did it and we will see you next week for another virtual art program bye